Greetings, flesh creatures. It is I, Megatron. On behalf of TFYLP, I want to congratulate you for listening to the most refined collector podcast on this miserable little planet Earth. Yes. Here you'll find knowledgeable fans discussing every aspect of Transformers and beyond. Now, enjoy the show while I continue my path to complete conquest of all of you miserable biological entities. Predacons! Terrorize! Welcome once again to another exciting episode of Cut the Tape. Tonight's episode, Masterpiece. Joining me is my assistant, Madeline Alvarez. Yeah, she's quite talented. All right, so... Uh, the Inferno Masterpiece is one of my favorite masterpieces. How everything's able to collapse into the back. You wouldn't be able to tell by looking at it. So this is the, uh, the re-deco and remold into Grapple. Grapple's got two different heads, a couple different expressions... Uh, he's got a few accessories from the television series. So this is like this is like the Grapple Plus version of it right off the bat. I don't think there's going to be another Grapple figure because this one kind of does it all. So, uh, and if we have time, I have a few more masterpieces. So, Maddie, let's cut the tape. First, we're going to show people, yeah, it's sealed. It's sealed. Okay. All right. So you can take this knife, right? And then you stick it in there. Okay. And there you go. Boom. Done. Can I do that another time? Uh, you know what? There's certain toys you can do that with, and there's certain toys you cannot do that with. So, this is the insert for the grapple, or as some people call it, grapple. It's got its uh, instructions. It comes with a little blueprint, right? From that episode where he and Hoist uh, hooked up with the uh, Constructicons. He's got his card. Hang on. hang on, hang on. Yeah, we're going to get to that. We're going to get to that. So uh, we're going to leave that to the side. So uh, this is how Grapple comes. Uh, the <laughs> Inferno had a little accessory piece which attached to the chest so that he could carry red alert which was really cool so that's taken out of this one relax that's taken out of this one and replaced with a bunch of different accessories all right we've got his gun we've got an alternate chest piece which i believe is the uh toy chest piece he's got a laser cannon he's got a little arm cannon all right so this is sealed too so we're going to cut this tape on all four sides, revealing the contents inside. It's like, remember that time we cut open a tauntaun? Because that's kind of what like this is like. Instead of there being, you know, gooey deliciousness inside, you get a masterpiece figure. So, stand right here. Stand right there. Get the stuff out. Just relax. I know, we're going to get the stuff on in a second. All right, so this is our grapple. Very, very nice. Can you peel this off for me? He's got a little piece of plastic there protecting the, uh, the front of the cab. Oh, look at that. Oh, that's a once in a lifetime opportunity right there. So this is the toy version, the one that comes in here. This is the cartoon version. So we're probably gonna swap these out. So we've got that. Um, this is a neat little accessory. This is that uh, solar power tower that uh, they built. No, we're gonna leave that. We're gonna leave that on because we're gonna get to this in a second. All right. He's got his little. Let's see if we can take this off. How does this? Perhaps this doesn't come off. Oh, I see. It slides. It slides. It's a slider. Something can go in Yeah, we're going to put this right in here. Look. Oh, see that? And then we can take this one off. 
and we're going to slide this one on. How is that one? This one, you know that claw machine that you put the quarter in and it comes down and grabs stuff and then it drops it before you get it? Except for Daddy, who's really good. And one time I got three prizes with one claw attempt. That's kind of what like this is like. So, that's fun. Let's put this back in there. So, uh, Maddie, you gotta stay still, okay? Stay still. Here, you can play with those. Let's see. Without looking at the instructions, uh, that's a little uh, soldering tool. You know, he puts it on his forearm, right? And uh, it's like G.I. Joe scaled, which is great. You can repurpose it. Uh, yeah, those aren't bobbleheads, but you go right ahead, kid. This yeah, that, putting the heads in. This, this is, you know what, this is going to be a whole thing to transform it. So I tell you what, why don't we put these over here for now? I think you need the rest of the body to make that work, Maddie. All right, so we'll transform this in a second. All right, but the important thing is we cut the tape. We cut the tape, all right? We cut it. And that's it. All right. There is one more thing I want to open. I really, really want to open it. It's this. I mean, look at the size of this compared to a child's head. This is huge. This is the Make Toys uh, Remaster Screamer. This is uh, their take on uh, Masterpiece G2 Starscream. All right. I'm a big fan of G2. Yeah. All right. Hang on. I'm a big fan of G2, and what's cool about this, this does not actually come sealed, so there's no tape to cut. This is a cheat. This is a cheat episode of, t of Cut the Tape. So, what's cool about it, you can open it without actually damaging the packaging, and then you can put it back. Can All right. open these? Yeah, yeah, you just gotta stand still. Just gotta stand still, don't move. All right, so. My one initial observation is that this can kind of uh, get loose in here. And I saw on a few other pieces, uh, all the little accessories had shifted out and were uh, loose in the, in the back or the bottom. So um, it looks like there was another cavity right here. So I don't know if this was for another accessory that was intended and uh, like the uh, speaker box, right? And it just didn't come with it. And there's another little cavity here. I don't know if that was for missiles or perhaps mine's just missing a few things. The instructions are folded down in here and we can move this card back and easily access the accessories. So, hang on, Maddie, let go, let go, let go. My guess is that they made this bubble with the intention of repurposing it for something else at a later date, which would be fine because I do love me some G2. All right. <laughs> You're like in the screenshot the whole time. This was a pain in the butt to get back. All right. So let's just see. All right. So this is my first time handling a Make Toys Seeker. And it's... Uh, it's really loose, you know. That's just, I guess, from being in the package. Can you open this? I will open that in just a moment. So looking at it, it looks like the transformation is a little intuitive and it's very familiar to G1. You know what would make this perfect? This is, this is pretty good as it is, but you know what make this perfect? A little speaker box back here. And we'll see what accessories it has. It's got, okay, so it's got its arm cannons, it's got missiles. And that that is it. We're gonna play with this a little bit. So now we have brand new toys to put in our masterpiece uh, display case. And that's it. Let's go play. Hey, let's go play. I'm gonna open this. All right, we're gonna open that too. I'm gonna open 
I mean, she's going to open that. All right. Thank you very much for joining us on Cut the Tape. Uh, I'm Rick Alvarez. This is Maddie Alvarez. And uh, we'll see you next time. Bye. Oh, I mean, stay golden. <laughs>